Say so you got a pass, but I'm knowing life is fast. Everybody's got their path. Need you to meet me where I'm at. Can't see me through these tents. I bet they asking who is that. You seeing what I'm on, but you don't know me like that. Don't come in and tease it. Without a plan to treat me a please. I know what you need. Let's not discuss it. Quiet with all of that fussing. Nothing is good, turn out to be easy. So give me the reason. We should rush it. You might want to play with my heart. Hey guys, we're finally working on the E46 again. The reason we're finally working on it is because every time we try working on it, something is wrong with something we've received or something. Between WiseFab and HGK and a bunch of other things, it's always the, the, the saying, it's always something. And Murphy's Law, they're, they're, it's, it, it feels real sometimes. A likely excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. <laughs> it's a real excuse. But uh, so, this is one side of our HGK bumpers. Uh, oh, bumpers, wide body, bumpers, whatever. Nice. So I was gonna cut the car off a little bit more and put this wide, put this wide body on just because I want to clear those 355s running in the back um, because they're rubbing through the old fenders. But I got these from Drift HQ. Drift HQ guys are awesome. We love them. But uh, the freight company like totally crushed them and then just like left us hanging. Fuck you guys. Like Cougar Freight or whoever it was. <laughs> yeah, um, they suck. <laughs> um, but so we're gonna. The other side was worse, but we're gonna cut the car, cut the body on this line, and then then just rip it on it like a like an over fender, like more standard style. If you take a look on the other side, we already did one side sort of. This is kind of like the mock up. So basically, I cut the fender and sort of like linked it right to where the body has this like line. I'm giving them all a good damage first. Oh yeah, she's, it was all crushed up here, like too. Yeah. But we're gonna make it look okay. It's gonna get wrapped, so it won't be the end of the world. Um, but right on the body crease, I kind of have it going in. So we're gonna rivet these on when we're done. Um, but so I had to cut this all out. I just have a little more sanding left to do. Uh, always something. I mean, this one was less bad, right? right this is like manageable. We can make it work. Like this is, we can make it work. Not the end of the world, right? Like, but then the Wise Fab stuff, man. Yeah, let's go look at that real quick. <sighs> Far from mod, Bolton mods. We're doing custom, mod, everything now, even custom hardware. So basically, we got the wise fab arms and we went to like, just use them right, like, just put them together. And like, see these bolts here? I gotta screw them all the way in again for you to show you guys, but these bolts stick out super far, even when they're screwed down. Cut to us having them screwed down. So basically, we got the arms and then we put the bearings in. So. Yeah, I mean, we put the bearings in. These are the bolts that Wisefab provided with their hub. Well, no, this is the bolts they tell you to use in the instructions. Yeah, right. So, well, and they, then they we, put our, we put our axle in. in. And like, we milled this axle, this one to be even lower profile, but we're still hitting, as you can see, like easy, easy money, right? Like, so, see how basically the ABS wheel speed ring just smashes the top of that bolt. And then nothing spins. So, we're so like, that doesn't work. So, we asked them, we're like, what the heck is going on? And they're like, so. Oh yeah, you didn't get these pieces, so we got these pieces right here. Essentially what this does is... Just ruins your... Spline again. So what this is gonna do now... This is just like a total mess of... Shit. All heavy parts. Everything's yeah. just so heavy. So what this is supposed to do is go into the hub to make up for loss of thread engagement and spline engagement. Let's just go in... Obviously this stub is a different thread. This is for an OEM axle. So with the OEM axle and our axles, because they basically have the same dimensions. God, everything is so heavy. Because Literally. they run the OEM dimensions, basically. Um, they sent us the spacer, and the spacer is to, gets pressed over here and sits there. So basically moves moves the axle out. But what this does is kind of mess up my axle lengths. Well, that, like two things, right? So we put it on, and it ruins we, spline engagement. We, we, lose, we lose this much spline engagement. And second of all, it still hit the top of the bolts. Yeah, it still hit the top of the bolts. So then we were like, okay, well, we will machi machine custom bolts for this project. And then we machine custom bolts and put this in, and it still didn't work. So we're back. Fuck that part, actually. That sucks. So we're back to more custom bolts to not have to use the spacer to get the right thread engagement. So, so we're, we're going to zap these out. Or I got the one right here. Oh, idea. we can use the one that we actually. Use. So this one spins. Nice. Wow, look at that, With guys. No Who spacer. would have thought that you wanted to actually use your wheel bearings like wheel bearings and spacers? So, so yeah. So a few things happen with this one. So basically, ooh, let's get the light in there. All right. So this is kind of good. You can kind of see. So 
Custom bolt sits all the way down in a pocket, which so, we have to machine the pocket yeah, we, into the trailing we, we arm. We countersink the living shit out of the arm. And then, also, we have to remove three mils of... Wait, four mil. Four mil. Of the ABS ring. Of the ABS ring. And then, then we use this custom head bolt we make for brake brackets already. Which yeah, we made, so... Which we then made longer, so it works in this application. Nothing worked. So basically, we my car hates fully me, engineered like, a whole arm. Yeah. We did literally all of Wisefab's work. My car hates me. Like yeah. every option, every opportunity for disaster or just being a pain in the ass, it doesn't. It. Yeah. It's like the worst wife ever. It's just, <laughs> it's just like it's such a pain in my ass. Yeah. And so, I mean, literally, we got sent these and everyone, and Wisefab, and you know, it's the guys that wanted us to, you know, run these was like, hey, this will work. It's been tested. We were like the first people in the U.S. to get these. Psych, it just did I don't, not work. I don't think this is tested, honestly. So, yeah, that, so, so see how those are countersunk? So yeah, we had to countersink all all four holes in the actual trailing arm itself. So obviously these are prototype bolts because yeah. they have slot. They don't, they're not like uh, gouged yet with the right Allen. Making custom bolts is not a fast turnaround process, so we have to use what we get. We need this video to go out. <laughs> I need my car to be put together. So basically yeah. that screws in there. So yeah, we thread those in. And yeah, I, I guess after all said and done, they kind of forgot to say that, oh, you should use WiseFab axles, because that's the only axle that actually works yeah, for I guess, this Yeah, I guess this is not a problem at all if you run a WiseFab axle, but the WiseFab axles are only available for, um, I think, Winters and E46 M3 diff. And we have a 488, and I'm definitely not leaving having the 488, because I love my 488. Yeah. Um, and most people that want to go drifting and use nice stuff don't need a winter's quick change. No. So, it's stupid. There's like 12 V46s probably in the country that actually use a winter's, right? Yeah, like why would you actually not? Get, this? actually get driven at least. Yeah. Well, so, that's probably true. Um, we're just going to like, so now the bolts are like even with the head, even with the level of the surface, I should say. So now we're going to, I guess let's put everything back in the car. So yeah, and then just like mock everything, the rest of it up while we wait for the bolt, the final bolts to come in from well, heat treat. And well, like, yeah, we're gonna have Kyle put this in the car, and we're gonna go show you guys what you're gonna have to do to machine all of your arms if you actually want this to work in your car. Yeah, losing this much spline engagement really loses you on strength because it's probably not nothing. Oh God, no! Especially when a you can't even go all the way to the end anyway. So you go from probably like 45 mils of spline engagement to like maybe 20, yeah, and it's all 25. the it's, and it's all the stress risers because you don't want to be twisting on the spline. Yeah. So you want to be twisting on that fly area. Yeah. At the, at the end of the day, we're just trying to make this kit better. Like we offer the SL the SLR upgrade bushings because we fix problems that we experience with the product. So with this product, like we love like Wisefab, like I we use Wisefab, we use SLR, we use everything, all cool stuff. But like sometimes you can just make it better. So we're just going to try to do that with some proper hardware that kind of may help people not run into problems. I kind of want to get a stock M3 axle in here too so we can test it in here. Yeah, because I don't think it works. We'll see what happens. Nothing's going to work with that bolt. So, and I would never recommend for anyone to run this. I don't think it's a good solution. No, that's not good. You should not do that. Yeah. All right. So I let's guess get to milling. Let's mill some shit. We get these arms in the car by the end of the day maybe. I don't know. Go! Yay! Mods on top. We're, to, we're modding the mods. Because unless you mod your mods, you're not really a true modder. No. I don't think I'm going to tattoo this as mods. With a Z. You probably should. Right on your butt. It's mods. Or a tramp stamp mod. Mods. Alright, so we're money? here at the drill. Um, I don't know if there's going to be much crazy excitement for the viewer to see on this one. but This is the best one you can see right there. Yeah. So, I mean, basically, we just got our bit, and we're going to go drill out this hole. Well, let's, let's get it centered up first. Oh, we got a nice wobbly bit. job guys. Kyle's gonna go get a bolt. Run faster Kyle, run faster! It's okay, I'm taking a drink break. Oh 
What? You gotta lift the knuckle. Never up, mind. Dude. Almost there. Just needs, a, just needs a touch more. Yeah. yeah, I got a magnet. Oh my god. It's the world's over. Good job, guys. You're so bad at this. I mean, the precision here is just. We're like really, this is mill spec milling here. I mean, it probably is mill spec. I mean, mill spec is not a very good spec. This sounds good though. Yeah, it's because it's used by the builder. If it's good enough for Ukraine, it's good enough for me. What are you doing? I don't know. Hold it flat. Oh, oh God. No, no, damn. no, no. It's hitting. It's hit. This is hitting when you're going. No, stop. When you're the arm is hitting the arm. Well, fucking move it. I'm sorry, Sean. I was I was panicking under pressure. Clearly. Jesus. You want to try the bolt now instead of looking at it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is what happens on Friday afternoon. Too much recreational stuff yeah, happened before. Oh, we're mending. She's so freaking. All right, mint. hold on. Move your fat hand then. You call me fat now? Yeah. There's a lot of wow, life. dude. There's just too much light in here. All right, that's a bolt in a hole. Sub flush. Yep. Sub flush. Hell yeah. Is that really a thing? Why would it not be? I don't know. Just because I don't know. It's like people arguing over semantics. I don't know. It's mill spec, I'm bro. Just shut my mouth, honestly. Just probably for the butter. No, no, I'm not gonna make it 100%. <laughs> dude, if you're leaving, I'm leaving. No, so. I'm like, I'm gonna get some. Yeah, dude. There's the our boss leaves. The workers leave. <laughs> yeah, so. There's a Ryobi or a Milwaukee. Choose your battles. All right, put it in the car. <laughs> Dude, you gotta cut the body out, don't you? No. Oh, yeah, you said you had to trim the body more. Oh, yeah. So that Classic fucking E46. I'll make him trim the body. I don't trust him with my nice tool. Oh, it's a nice no, tool? He bought a, no, he bought a oh, you guys are talking about that body. I was talking about the fiberglass part. No. Even what if Sean cuts the body as I cut the fiberglass? Instructions. All right, hold on. So, Let's look at the actual instructions. So we cut this, but we need to cut it even lower into the body seam, and then also like it hits the stud on the the on thread insert. The thread insert. So like we need to cut that, I guess. Also, I don't know. We keep cutting more. It just like I feel like we just keep working. on Doesn't the our body look like this picture right now, though? And no, it's like it's like lipped up by like five mil. There's more rust too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why are you dealing with this shit? You guys, he's already depressed enough. I'm modifying this fender setup. So, what I did was mark our main cut line. This whole top half is going to get removed. Um, but the more annoying part, which I like to get done ahead of time, is I got to remove this whole brake light assembly area. And I also remove this bottom area. It goes over here. Um, then I have to carve this out for the tire a bit as well. So as you're going, you're going to want to use a body saw like this from Harbor Freight. It's like 30 bucks. This is like the best thing to cut wide bodies with. It's like tiny, and can turn tight and do all that good stuff. Um, and then something interesting that Sean came up with was that when you, ha when you sand the edges, the Kevlar fibers um, kind of don't get sanded, but the resin material does so at the end of the sanding you have like little bumps and there, it's the fibers that haven't been removed yet so what i end up doing for sean's recommendations is try burning them so what i do is take a torch and i can burn the edges off and the fibers then come off and it becomes kind of a much more cleaner edge so pro tip for carbon kevlar is burn the edges does that give you cancer or not i have no idea only in california I feel like we have almost as much trash as we do final product. <laughs> That's what I get. So I'll just dial this in now, and then we'll uh, kind of tape it up to the car, make sure everything looks, looks and fits sweet. Um, trim the edges, gas the edges so all this stuff comes on so it's uh, you know we're ready to mount, and then we'll get her attached so we can wrap it and rivet it later. Okay, so I got most of the uh, trunks off I wanted to get off. This final bit will be sanded off and then I can burn off the little fabric edges. You can sort of see here when you're sanding the Kevlar, um, or even cutting the Kevlar, it leaves sort of the hairs. This is what you're going to burn off. Then I just got to sand a bit around here to make it nice and smooth. 
Um, then I'll be ready to slap it on. So nice little test fit. Honestly, I probably didn't even need to test fit this like this. I just really wanted the satisfaction of seeing it on the car. Makes sense. All right. Hey guys, so while you were sleeping, I was sanding and inhaling lots of Kevlar. We got it on the car, so we're using the sheet metal screws, like I said before, um, but now the panel's ready to get wrapped, and I can rivet them on when we're done. I'm gonna hide what we're doing behind here and show you at the end of the video. And Ooh, uh, sneaky. Yeah, but on this side, we got the arm in, and we have our custom StopTech big brake kit adapter, so we're running the StopTech for the handbrake and the primary brake, and we also gutted the fuel door. We took the panel back off so we can start figuring this out, but we're gonna end up running some custom pipe down here back to the factory fill right here, um, but for what all you're waiting for, it's probably like that big brake discs. Mike's got big it's, discs. It's the BBD, all right? The big, big brake, brake disc. Oh, You can do it, you're so BBD. strong. The BBD is so, so heavy. <sighs> <sighs> Ratched that in there. <sighs> oh, you fell out of the hole. <sighs> Torque tight. Good hand over hand with oh, a ratchet. Oh god, ratchet. Two, it's a two hander so big. All right, so now we got these bad Larrys spinning around on the stop tech. So let's now go. grab the sixty pounds of calipers we're adding to this thing. Oh yeah. Ugh. God, so heavy. Get back in there. There you go. So yeah, normally we were running these just as a standard big brake kit, and we had the Will Woods for the hydro. And then we decided, well, if you're gonna ball, you might as well ball. Is this mods, all right, guys? These are just mods. This is what happens when you leave Mike alone for too long. Yeah, get in your own car there. I gotta see what kind of damage the BBD did. See where I gotta fit in? Uh. Oh, God, come here. It's coming. Why you take the brake pads out? Oh wow, you just stepped on one of our saluter lights and broke it. What happened? I think you pulled out of a saluter light. Is this one just dead now? They're both dead. This one's alive. They're both alive. Alright, well. I wonder what just some minor power loss? Take two. I have a brown out here. In the right hole. I was. Say it should be. There you go. There you go. We got the we got the wrong rotors on, by the way. Won't be popping these out. This is the other side's rotors. <gasps> oh no. For all the for all the commenters. Hey, yep. while you're commenting about my, my rotors are on backwards, feel free to subscribe. Oh. <laughs> Also, we hit 5,000 subs, so thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Yeah. All right, that's one. So, <laughs> Did I kick it? Oh, no. Did yeah, I scratch it? I, I asked you before we started filming if you grabbed all the bolts. Oh, you I said yes, I, I did. We were talking about the other I'll grab some bolts. I'll get back. Uh, teleport back. Got my bolts. Oh, God. That needs to my way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, you have so much room with this wide body now. You could basically live in here. Dude. You could rent this out That's like on the idea. weekends, like a one bedroom. Airbnb it? Yeah. Live inside Mike's wide body. Sounds kind of wrong. Live inside my wide body. Where are you going now? I'm going to that red shit. I'm just tying these down with. Did you really lose oh, that? Here it is. God, I left it here for in, safety. <laughs> yeah. It's like where you're like, this is a perfect spot to leave this. I'll never yeah. forget it. All right, sweet. So that's the dual caliper kit right there. Yeah. Bottom boom. That's so, a good thumbnail right there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So it's a lot of stop tech on one picture. So, all right, guys, we have this kit designed. Like, obviously, we mailed some stuff so we can make production units. But uh, if you really want this, just email us. But we have a consumer version for the non mentally disrupted, such as myself. <laughs> uh, let's go to the other side of the car and look at what normal people will, should put on their. Yeah. You know, wise fab. So wise fab from the factory wants to use stock iron 330 calipers. Those are gross. So we make a kit to use willies. So these are our gold adapters, just like normal. They're on our online store. The gold bulbas just bolt up. 
I'm sorry, the gold adapters bolt up than the Willwoods bolt up. And this is a lot lighter. I haven't weighed it, but it's definitely a lot lighter yeah. than the factory 330 calibers. And obviously, like if you have a car you're putting these crazy $2,000 arms on, why or use thirty dollar junkyard rotor no, like just, calipers? Just like, terrible. So, you know they're on there. The radial mounts are a little harder to make than usual, but they work sweet. So this is like the consumer version using an E thirty six M three rotor, common to everybody. Fits on everything. Run good. Yep. And then, uh, if you're mentally demented like me, you go to the other and side and get the stop tech, tech just yeah. for no reason, just because because mods. Yep. So yeah, I think that's final conclusion. I think we're at a big kind of. Momentum point of the car. I mean, we're pretty close to rolling. Well, the Wise Fab is in, almost working. So we just gotta get so axles in the car pretty soon. Then, got some uh, hardware. Get the axles in. I gotta fix like two wiring things in the car, and then we're ready to roll. I think again, and then hopefully ra uh, wrap the car. So stay tuned for what color we're wrapping it. Yep. Um, New livery. Uh, surprise! It's it's green again. <laughs> <laughs> just a different shade of green. It's a different green. Yeah. But uh, put your best green comments in the. Not the link below, in the comment section below. <laughs> Killing but, uh, it. Yeah, it's been a long week, guys. Give it a nice yeah, slap. Yeah. Carbon Kevlar strong. It's going to look sweet. So It is going to rip. It's going to look good. We're going to be offering the custom hardware we had to create for the YSF kit for these axles. So we'll just have it on hand for people who want to struggle like us. Uh, kind of. I guess we'll have to figure out how to. In. No, I didn't bolt those in. There's just for. They're just like hanging. I couldn't find hardware. All right. Well, anyway. Well, we'll have the custom hardware to make the Wise Fab work, and then we have to do custom ABS rings for people. Yeah, we milled that to down. make that work. So and people will have to send in ABS we'll, rings, or we'll have to make. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But we're gonna get full. We're, our goal is to get full spline engagement, have ABS work as it should, and have everything fit together without BS. Yeah. Because so. it, it wasn't just our G-Force. We put in stock axles and it still didn't work. So Yeah, so I don't know whether we're having some compatibility issues. They, they, they say you need to use certain things, but as of now, I think WiseFab only works with WiseFab unless you want to mess with it. WiseFab axles, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but we'll figure it out. We figured it out for them, and it's in the car, and it works. So, yeah, so. they got a little brazen earlier in the video, but we're yeah. back on track. We're back on track. We're less, we're less angry at WiseFab. But yeah. We're, we're going to have the stuff to make it work. She run good. Yep, she run good. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace.